Morning team, I hope you're doing well. Before I uh, before I dive into this, I just wanted to clear one thing up. I'm talking a little bit quietly this morning because my partner's still uh, asleep in the room next door and I really do not want to get in the crap for waking her up. Uh, what I thought I'd uh, start doing actually is today's Monday, 23rd of August, uh, and it's actually 16 weeks until I have uh, an Ironman 70.3 or a half Ironman race up in Taupo. So, I did an Ironman <clears throat> last year and I recorded most of what I was doing through the likes of Facebook and Instagram, but this year uh, I want to do something slightly different and give you a bit more of an insight into what I do, how I go about it, uh, and the, the highs and lows and, and the things that I experience. So I'm going to uh, do a weekly vlog and chuck it up on YouTube uh, and yeah, that'll give you a bit of a snapshot into what I'm doing on a week to week basis. Uh, and how training is progressing and tracking on my way towards uh, half Ironman in Taupo in, I think it's on the 11th of December. So if you've got any questions or queries along the course of this next 16 weeks, do just drop them in the comments below. Uh, if you're enjoying this sort of thing, uh, do feel free to, to like uh, the video or subscribe so that you get uh, the weekly, weekly updates. Uh, with that being said, uh, enjoy the week. So we're, uh, we're about to start session one, which is about two hours on the bike of steady riding, but I figured, seeing as I've spent a lot of time uh, in the pain cave, I should probably give you a, uh, a bit of a look and a grand tour of what exactly is the setup. So welcome to the, the garage. You can see we've got all sorts of shit in here. Over to the pain cave side. Got a gravel bike there that I'm borrowing from uh, from Sarah's uncle to give that a bit of a whirl and that is awesome absolutely loving that got my weights rack although Sarah's hijacked that with her boxing bag for her uh, Muay Thai kickboxing but that's what I have used in the past uh, for all my weights um, but I've now signed up to uh, local gym Strength Nation I'll put their email address uh, and their webs or their website address sorry not their email address in the description below awesome people awesome place uh, but if I can't get there, then I'll just use the weight, my weight set up here. Uh, I've got my Zwift set up over in the corner. You can see laptop plugged in, screen in front of the bike. Uh, and then this is my race beast. And at the moment, I'm spending quite a bit of time uh, on the TT bike in the TT position. Just to keep getting used to it, I have changed the position. I've dropped the front end down a little bit and put those bars up. So the more time I spend there, the better. Um, yeah, Wahoo, what kick is that? Wahoo kicker, that's their base, base one anyway. And then my little setup here with, normally with my goodies. Uh, chuck the phone down there for um, uh, a bit of a podcast and start to bash away. So that's basically it, there's nothing too, uh, too major about it. It's essentially enough space to be able to lift some weights uh, and rubber bike, no, no treadmill doing my running outside, so I have to brave the elements every now and then. But that's that's part of it. So anyway, time to jump on the uh, jump on the bike, set Zwift up, and get cracking. Just two hours steady, so looking forward to that. Funny story, had uh, had Sarah come in and obviously my attempt to be uh, quiet whilst talking to uh, to the camera this morning over breakfast was a massive fail because I'd managed to wake her up. So my quiet voice is obviously not very not very quiet. So there's something I'll have to uh, have to learn moving forward. Otherwise, I'm gonna get my ass kicked every morning. But that's all right. You learn these things. Well, that's the first of five intensity run sessions for this week. Completed uh, about 15 and a half k's in just a touch over an hour. And it consisted of a 20 minute warm up, 
four times five minutes uh, on or sort of hard, three minutes of a recovery. The five minutes on we're at like an upper tempo slash lower threshold pace of 335 to 340. And then the recovery was at a like an upper endurance slash lower tempo pace around 14 to 415. And then a 15 minute cool down uh, to end that session. So glad to have that one ticked off and looking forward to the next four over the coming week. Another day, another bike session, two and a half hours, another steady, steady effort. So, hook into it and kick out. I'm getting to ride in France today and go up Mont Ventoux, which is one of the Tour de France climbs. So, I better settle in because it's already three or four percent gradient, and I'm only a minute and a half in. So, it's going to be about sixteen hundred meters of climbing and twenty kilometers. So. I might get a little bit of a puff on pretty quickly. Snack time. Been an hour and 15 in. Time to eat. Been going uphill for about 70 minutes, so. Took a longer ride. I'll keep pushing on once I'm refueled and finish this off. Time for the second tough uh, sort of interval run of the week. So after yesterday's session, legs are a little bit tight and sore, but got to get out and get it done. So today's session is a 3K warm up into 20 times 400 meters at around 310, 315 pace with a minute float. So about a minute in between each of those at around 5, 5.30 pace, and then into a 3K cool down. So we'll cover probably 18 to 20 Ks in total. Uh, yeah, looking forward to it. We'll see how the legs go and get out there and get amongst it. That was a doozy, so 18 and a half Ks, 20 times 400 with a 3K warm up and cool down. The 400 efforts were at, I think I was averaging about a minute 16-ish per uh, per 400, so we're around that 310 pace. Uh, and they actually felt not too bad, so I got to the end and the last couple were starting to get hard, but still a little bit within myself, so that's always a good, a good sign that you're not overcooking yourself essentially. So I don't, uh, I don't have a intensity run tomorrow I've got an intensity bike and just a real easy shakeout run so that'll be good and then into the last three three runs so so far so good but whoa, a bit tired now morning team Wednesday morning and legs feel very very heavy stiff and sore so we'll go and have some breakfast Chill out for a bit and then maybe do a uh, 20 or 30 minute shakeout run just to loosen them up before I hook into an, uh, an interval bike session later on this afternoon. So this is not a typical run week for me with this many intensity sessions. I'm a massive believer in doing lots and lots of really easy stuff similar to this. And 
if I cover say 80 to 100 k's of running a week, it's probably a range of say 75 through to 95 k's of it. It's just super easy, which might be a little bit boring, but that's um that's what I believe in is building a massive massive base. So this week being five key sort of intensity threshold efforts or sessions is more around I've been doing this long sort of lots of easy stuff for the past 18 months and this is around getting a, a very short sharp one week over stimulus and then you'll see in further weeks I'll go back to doing a lot of easy miles to let it sort of settle in, let my body recover and readjust and hopefully that'll take me to the next level. Right, bike time now team. After uh, probably two or three breakfasts, a shakeout run and a little bit of time off the feet, uh, my body feels surprisingly good considering I woke up this morning feeling like I'd been run over by a bus. So looking forward to hooking into this. It's going to be quite a, a spicy wee workout. We've got a 30 minute warm up, which is a gradual build and power uh, into uh, eight times two minute efforts at 345 watts, which is quite a bit above uh, like a threshold intensity for me with a minute in between each. Uh, and that's just easy, easy pedal followed by 30 minute cool down. Warm up done. Time to channel my inner David Goggins and get to work. All done, glad that's over. Nothing major for the rest of the day, but later on this evening I'll be back in the gym, probably lifting some uh, some weights to get the heavy strength session out of the way for the week. So that'll be, be good, probably 45 minutes worth. So looking forward to that. Always nice to be getting under a barbell again. It's time to do some weights, team. First, uh, well, First and only sort of heavy strength session this week. I did a little bit of light stuff last night. I try and make sure I get two, two sort of strength based sessions in a week. One being light uh, and sort of focusing on mobility and stability and the other being heavy strength for uh, uh, I guess sort of max strength power generation uh, and good for injury prevention too. So about to hook into it full of uh, squats, deadlifts, uh, overhead presses, so all, all the good stuff. So. Another day, another bike session. Can't say the motivation's particularly high this morning. I'd probably much rather be sitting on the couch, feet up doing bugger all. But gotta be done, so. Well, that's that session done. Three hours. And can't say I enjoyed a whole lot of that. But after yesterday, waking up feeling sort of sore and tired, but having a uh, having an awesome interval bike session 
to then to come into this three hours and it just taking ages. Body still performed right, but just long and slow. So that's uh, that's part of this. Not every day you're going to wake up feeling like you need to do it or want to do it or you're going to be on top of the world. But when the motivation's low, you just got to. That's where the consistency comes in. So headphones are on and just ticked away. Time's going to pass whether I liked it or not. So session's done there. I've got a tough decision to make. Do I go with the Hokers or do I go with the New Balance? I do prefer the Hokers by a significant way. But that also means that I'm really ripping through the miles on these things and I don't quite want them to run out on me just yet. So for this particular one, I'm probably gonna have to go with these. So this session is a repeat of Mondays, but it's a little bit or sort of slightly scaled up. So we're hooking out there, 15 minute warm up, and then instead of the four by five, we're gonna do three by 10 at that same pace. So this is just spreading it out or extending it a little bit more for that sort of high end tempo, low end threshold effort. Same three minutes between, and then 15 minutes cool down. So we'll probably cover 16, 17 Ks this time and go from there. It's, uh, it's also funny how your perspective changes throughout the course of the day from being you know high motivation to low motivation this morning on the bike. Motivation was really low and it was a bit of a drag to get through three hours. But now motivation is actually not too bad. After a uh, after some food, a bit of a lie down, putting the feet up. Uh, yes, it's a bit windy outside, but the sun's out and I'm ready to go and hook into it. So sometimes you've just got to box on through and, uh, and you never know, you might be uh, only one workout away from a fantastic workout. You could also be one workout away from an absolute shocker too, but that is uh, part of the process. So I'll... Uh, Chuck these bad boys on and hook into it. Right, that's that workout done. 16.4 kilometers, 14 a K, just under an hour, 10 minutes. But as I was saying before, you don't quite know when you're gonna have a good workout or when you're gonna have a shit workout. And this morning's one, obviously no good, but that one turns out, even though I wasn't really trying, at all, it wasn't a 10k race effort, that was uh, my fastest 10k that I've ever done. So, uh, possibly a 34 or at least a sub 35 if I was really racing that. So, just goes to show you got to box on and you don't quite know when you're going to pull out a good one. So, that's a, a bloody good sign being 16 weeks out from an A race and already running faster 10ks in, in, uh, in training than you have run before. So, Friday, second and last day of training this week, and we're inside for another bike session, but it's raining outside, so that makes it a little bit nicer that I know I'm not having to go out and get an absolute wet ass. So we'll hook through this and get into it. It's looking a bit wet out there. It's not really raining super hard at the moment, but it keeps coming on and off, but we'll get out there and get into it. Today's session is a 3K warm up, 20 times 400 meters. So the same as Tuesday's session, apart from those 400 meters will probably be five or 10 seconds a K slower. And the rest time goes from being a minute down to 30 seconds. So. Uh, and then a 3k cool down. So sort of similar, but not quite as higher end speed, but still very uh, threshold based. So looking forward to getting into it. Better get the camera crew all ready. And yeah, fast shoes on and get out there into the rain, get wet, but get it done.
Well, that's that session done. It actually went pretty good. So I did the 2400s. If I compare that to the session three days ago, uh, what were we, seven seconds a kilometre slower for those 400s on average. So we're at 319s, which is fine. That's what it was supposed to be. Uh, and then only the 30 second recovery instead of the one minute. And max heart rate was significantly lower by about five or six beats a minute. And average heart rate was about 10 beats a minute lower too. So there's certainly something going on with this uh, sort of fourth intensity session in a row, but the legs are starting to, starting to hurt. So one more tomorrow, get that one out of the way. And then looking forward to the next couple of weeks of just lots of easy running to let the body absorb it. Ended up being about 16 and a half Ks in about an hour and eight, eight minutes. So happy with that. Last day of training for the week team. And it's a bit slower this morning. I've uh, made a few adjustments after taking into account how I feel once I've woken up. And instead of being on the bike for uh, two and a half hours today, we'll probably only do an hour, an hour and a half of easy riding. The legs are, uh, are still feeling quite sore and tired. So if I really feel the need tomorrow for a rest day, I'll do another real easy hour spin. But that's, that's part of it. You've got to make these adjustments. So just to get through the final day, take it easy and uh, get on the bike in probably an hour, an hour and a half's time. So we're... Uh... Into the last 10 minutes of a cool down. It's been about an hour and five minutes now, so an hour and 15 for this one. Just gradually gone up in power and then coming back down, so nothing too major. And then um, we'll chill out for a few hours and then get out into the run and tick that final session off. Radio team, we're heading out for the final session of the week. Something a little bit different this time. I'm going a bit longer, it'll end up being 20 odd Ks, so, oops, smack myself in the face, but I'll end up taking a little pack so that I can chuck a water bottle in there. That's got an electrolyte tablet in, so I know uh, in the past sort of month or so, every time I go, starting to go a little bit longer now, uh, I need to start taking a bit of fuel just in the form of electrolyte. Otherwise I find I get bloody sore by the end of it and that just delays recovery. So final session, time to uh, hook in, get it done, and then I can focus on just relaxing for the next 24 or 48 hours until next week starts. Right, so we're all done, but that was not successful. Trying to do three by 15 minutes at about 3.35, 3.40, sort of a tempo slash threshold effort. Didn't have it in me mentally, and physically it was starting to break down, so I got through two, and then caught it quits. So the whole run was supposed to be about 20 k's. I ended up doing 15 and a half and I'm fairly cooked, so that's all right. Not every workout's a winner, but that's me done for the week. I'll have a bit of reflection tomorrow on the rest day, but I'm glad this week's over. It's been quite a challenge with this amount of intensity. I'm not used to that. I'm used to a lot of low intensity stuff, so. Well, it's the final day of this week, which means it's a complete recovery day, and. I'm just out on a morning walk, enjoying some nice country scenery. I always enjoy these; they're quite um, they're quite useful for just a bit of reflection. For the past six days, it's been, in terms of hours-wise or volume, 
it's been reasonably typical i'm normally around the same sort of volume as i have been this week so about that 20 hour mark but level of intensity especially run intensity has been something that i'm nowhere near used to this week and i've actually found that really hard it's been tough on the legs especially my calves well, all of that running's been on tar seal too which makes it very high impact and just the volume of actual intensity efforts having five intensity sessions this week so i've certainly started you out with something that's quite atypical for me and has certainly been one of my more challenging weeks but in saying that that was deliberate it had come it's come just after a proper a rest week and i'm hoping i'm going to get a whole lot of uh, good run gains out of it as I recover over the next couple of weeks from it. So, so with that being said anyway, and uh, what's at my upper right hand corner, well, this corner anyway, however you're looking at it, there's some stats for the week, so total training hours, 19 hours and 50 minutes, so just a shy under 20 hours. Looks like I went through in terms of bike splits, about 12 hours and 15 odd minutes I was on the spent on the bike covered just a touch over 300 k's and an elevation gain of about 5,500 meters all of which was done indoors on my trainer on Zwift probably also made it a little bit challenging because that's fine uh, for a few days but to do it day after day after day makes it a bit tough we then move on to the run and did a touch over six hours with a running, covered about 85 kilometers, which is pretty typical for uh, a weekly volume for me for a run. Just the intensity was certainly up. In terms of strength sessions, did about an hour and 20 minutes with a strength work, which again is reasonably typical. Sometimes it might be up to two hours for a week. Uh, and on average have burnt a fraction over 4200 calories per day and that's including a rest day today which will certainly be a hell of a lot less than that so like i said volume wise is pretty typical intensity wise definitely not and that's been the challenging part so certainly looking forward to uh getting back to my more sort of tried and true methods uh for the next couple of weeks where volume is probably pretty steady a lot more lower intensity stuff and then sprinkle on a little bit of high intensity in one or two sessions a week any learnings from this week from me probably the the only real one i've got out at the moment is even after 18 months of consistent training doing a block periodized run week i.e having those five really intense run sessions basically back to back to back in one week i probably haven't done enough volume or i'm not mature enough in my run legs to actually handle that properly so it was fairly high risk uh, from my perspective where i could have got injured or sick but hopefully the rewards there too so i wouldn't recommend that for uh for many people unless you've been consistently running for uh years and years and lots of low intensity stuff but that's just my view anyway uh, it certainly worked okay so far but the proof will be over the course of the next 12 weeks to see what happens with my run legs leading into Taupo 70.3 so there's uh i'll call it week one or week 16 i'm sort of counting down but first vlog done team hope you've enjoyed it I'll uh, be chucking another one up obviously weekly and keep giving you an insight into how my training's going and the things I'm doing to keep myself ready for Taupo 70.3 in early, in early December. As I mentioned at the beginning, if you did enjoy it or you do enjoy these, hit the like button. Do subscribe if you want to keep up to date. I will keep Facebook and uh, Instagram updated as well with little snapshots otherwise have a fantastic day and rest of the week coming up and we'll catch you next time